everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm excited because we're gonna start the next section in the eat like a Gilmore cookbook that's the muffins rolls breads and scones and we're gonna start with making scones I'm so excited I've never actually made scones so I'm really excited to learn how to do it in um, the Gilmore Girls, you see Suki making lots of scones. So this is a recipe from her kitchen, as indicated up here in the corner. And I'm ready to get started. Let's go. Okay, I've already gotten my oven preheated to 375. And we're going to start with the dry ingredients in this bowl. So we're going to start with two cups of flour. Oops. Two cups of flour. One third cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay now we're gonna take one stick of butter, it's cold, We're going to cut it in with a pastry blender. We're going to cut this in until there's no big chunks of butter. Okay, now we're going to blend together the wet ingredients. Starting with one egg. We're going to go ahead and blend this together. just to get the yolk and the white together. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And half a cup of Italian mascarpone. This is one cup in this package, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. And put the side in here. We're going to mix this with a hand mixer until it's blended. It's okay if there's a little bit of chunks of the mascarpone, but for the most part, it's got to be blended together. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to pour the wet ingredients in with the dry ingredients. Okay, we're just going to mix this with a fork until it's all incorporated and there's no dry ingredients at all on the bowl. This part will probably take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and snap to the next part. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I gave up on the fork because it was hurting my hands after a while and I used my hands and that worked a whole lot better. So. Now we're going to form the scones. The book gives you two options. You could either roll about and cut it with a round cookie cutter and do it that way. The other option is to put it in a giant circle and cut it into wedges with a pizza cutter and that's the one that I'm going to do. Need some flour. This is going to be my work surface. and some flour on it to work with. And this is going to be the one that I bake on. They also wanted that one floured. I'm supposed to make a rough circle about a half inch thick. We're going to do that. It's 
It's one thing I like about scones. There's nothing too totally fancy about them, but they are very nice. Okay, I'm gonna use my pizza cutter. It says I could make about 10 to 12 triangles. So we're gonna start with our basic crisscrosses. Then our X. We're at eight. Nine, ten. You're going to be uneven. I think ten is where we're going to be on this. And we're going to separate them. Put them about a half inch apart. On our cookie sheet. This one's really tiny. I bet this one's going to get burnt along with this friend right here. We're going to have the issue. We're either going to have some overdone, underdone. I should have been a little more diligent at keeping it equal. Okay, there's my scones. All right, the recipe says to top each scone with about a half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna bake them for about 15 minutes until the edges on the bottom are brown. This isn't, this is regular granulated sugar. The recipe does say coarse sugar. And I didn't have that, so. I'm sure it probably will work better than what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and bake these. And I will be back. Okay, after 15 minutes in the oven, this is what we have. I'm so amazed that they all came out even, despite the fact they're different sizes. They don't look like one's more done than the others, so we'll just give a thumbs up for that one, okay? Now, of course, we're going to give it a try. We do this funky shaped one over here. Okay, I'm ready to try it. I am using a fork just because it's hot. Once the rest of them cool down, I won't eat them with a fork. Oh. I should have shown you when I cut it. Look at the nice texture on the inside. Just the way a scone is supposed to be. I'm so excited that I got that right. Let's try it. Hmm. This is very good. I'm very happy with this result. As I try new ones, I'm going to try them with different kinds of toppings like preserves or butter or maybe some more of the mascarpone but these are good these are perfect scones and I'm really proud of myself for doing this one well I hope you enjoyed watching me try this recipe I hope you have a chance to try it because it is delicious and a lot of fun and actually pretty easy I do other recipes and more fun things on this channel so please consider subscribing because I have so much more to share with you and give me a thumbs up and have a great day bye